welcome back to my channel. Today we are starting another reading vlog. I am pretty sure this is going to be a weekend reading vlog. It is now Friday the 2nd of June when I'm starting this. I spent the beginning of my week in London as you will have seen with the Fairy Loot team. We were there for a really exciting work event and we also got up to all sorts while we were down there as well. Lots of social media Fairy Loot things which was a lot of fun. I am absolutely exhausted now however. We did not stop the whole time we were there and also not a scrap of reading I don't think was done the whole time I was there so I'm hoping to get a lot of reading in across the weekend fingers crossed I do have a fairly busy weekend as well tomorrow we have a family barbecue so my boyfriend and I will be going to that starting at like two o'clock so that's probably going to wipe out like my entire day which is absolutely fine because I'm really really excited for it and Sunday I hope to film a video and then just read 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 tonight I would love to spend my entire night reading but I really do need to edit the last vlog <laughs> so fingers crossed I can get that edited and uploaded tonight and then get on to some reading as well but that might be a tad optimistic my current reading the book I'm reading is not in this room <laughs> the current book I am reading though is The Atlas Paradox well I say I'm reading it I've not started it yet but it's the sequel to the atlas 6 which i read in last week's vlog you guys if you'll have watched that will know that i absolutely adored this book it's now one of my all-time faves i'm still reeling from it to be honest so i need to get on to the second one as soon as possible i'm hoping to start that one tonight we shall see see how time goes. I also have not started another audiobook yet so yeah basically I'm not reading anything at the minute I just have reading plans. In terms of my audiobook though I think I might start A Court of Mist and Fury. I was going to read them all physically but I don't know I'm kind of vibing with listening to the audiobook. I've got a few things I need to do tonight like some cleaning and some tidying so I may listen to the audiobook while I do that and then we can see if I'm vibing with the audiobook or not because it might be one that lends itself better to physically reading I'm not entirely sure yet. But those are the roundabout reading plans. I also might pick up one of the books that I bought while I was in London. I was so good you guys, I was so good. Like I was being given so many recommendations, so many people were telling me books I needed to buy, I wanted to buy them, I saw so many pretty things in all the different bookshops that we went to because we went to like six or seven different bookshops but I stuck to only three and those were in the three for two deal at Forbidden Planet. So I think I deserve a pat on the back, a little round of applause if you will. But while we were there I did finally pick up volumes 1 and 2 of Given. I've heard such good things about this manga series. It's a boy love series about a boy band I believe. I don't really didn't know too much about it honestly and I don't really want to, I kind of want to go into it fairly blind but from everyone that has read it I've heard amazing things and Lauren, my friend from Fairy Loot, basically thrust these into my hands and told me I couldn't leave until I bought them so deal with that what you will and because these were in the three for two I obviously had to pick up a third volume of some sort of manga to make up the three for two deal I would have gotten volume three but they only had the first two my next plan of attack was to get attack on titan but for some reason those are not in the three for two deal it's something about the publisher or something I don't know so I was most displeased about that but instead I decided just to pick up volume seven of spy family because you guys know in the last vlog I read volumes two and three love them cannot wait to continue with the series I have volumes one to already so I might as well use my little fee for two and get the next volume in the series free effectively. So yeah that is my very small London book haul. I am very proud of that. I'm trying so hard not to spend money on books at the minute. I can't remember if I mentioned that in the last vlog or not but I am really trying to get from my physical DBR. So yeah at some point of the weekend I may pick up one of the volumes of Given, both of the volumes of Given, another volume of Spy Family. I'm really enjoying picking up manga volumes as breaks between longer books and I'm also really enjoying how it ups my book count for the month. So yeah, I don't know why I said so. There's not really any more to that sentence. I also have some really exciting book mail to show you. These came in today and I am so, so obsessed with them. It's ridiculous. But <laughs> behold the pretties. Look how absolutely freaking stunning these are. I'm trying to hold them all up so you can see, but it's not going well. But these are the Fairy Loot exclusive editions of the Lunar Chronicles. You guys, I'm obsessed. So we have Cinder, Stunning, Scarlet, also Stunning, Chris, I'm not going to say Stunning again but you know, and then finally Winter. I just absolutely love the like, is it holographic? 
Like, look at that shimmer. I'm obsessed, absolutely obsessed. I have no idea, however, where these are gonna go on my shelves, so. We might have a little think about that later. Maybe when I listen to my audiobook, I can also sort of like do a little bit of bookshelf reorganization. Who knows, who knows? But yeah, like I said, right now, I really need to go ahead and edit last week's vlog, which hopefully will turn out well. I think I have like over an hour's worth of footage and I don't even know what half that is. It was my first try at vlogging after a couple of months off, so hopefully you'll let me off if it's a really bad vlog, but fingers crossed it turns out well. I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will catch up with you when it's time to start reading. <laughs> much longer than I expected. I don't know if it's because I'm out of the habit of editing or if I just forgot how long it takes or if it's because this vlog now edited is 40 minutes long. You guys said you like long vlogs though so hopefully I'm giving you what you want. I know I like long vlogs. I love to sit and cozy up and watch long vlogs like some of my favourites like Katie is Reading, Olivia Reads a Latte, all these YouTubers who do like these long reading vlogs where I can just cozy up with a cup of tea and just like get lost in it for a while. I find them so comforting. So fingers crossed you guys can get something like that from me. It is now exporting however so I will get that uploaded now. I think I'm just gonna upload it now even though it's gonna be like after 10 at night because I kind of just want to get my first video up and back and I'm not sure it really makes much of a difference when you post it anyway so I'm gonna get it posted. <laughs> but obviously it's 10 past 10. I'm not sure how much, if any, reading is gonna get done tonight. I do still think I'm probably gonna pop my headphones on, start an audiobook and just do a few bits and bobs because when I came back from London, I kind of just dumped all my stuff in the bedroom and my boyfriend had like just tidied said bedroom, like put on new sheets and everything for me coming home. And I feel so bad that I just came in and like dumped all my stuff everywhere. So I think I will like tidy all that up and like make it nice and tidy again. I know for a fact I definitely like relax better and sleep better when I'm in a clean tidy room. I don't know what it is but I just feel like so much more peaceful if I'm in a nice tidy room you know just so much more at home. So I think I'll put my audiobook on and do that. Afterwards not so sure. <laughs> I may pop some Netflix on, I may pop some booktube on, I really don't know so I will probably get back to you tomorrow with some form of reading update. <laughs> weekend reading vlog. We are now up to Monday and I have done a very minimal amount of reading and there doesn't seem to be much point in ending a reading vlog without actually any reading having been done. So we're gonna continue this for a few days until we feel like there's actually been some reading, some things to talk about. We'll just go with the flow. 
see how it goes. So I think I last spoke to you on Friday night when I did my editing for my last vlog. I got that all uploaded. By the time I'd done all that, honestly, I had no brain power left. So there was no reading to be done. I think I did just get into bed and watch some Netflix before I went to sleep. And then the next day I had the family barbecue. So I was super busy with that all day. Yesterday was Sunday and I was a little bit worse for wear. Many beers were consumed for that barbecue and not a lot of food, which is weird for me. And I think like that is what screwed me over the next day. So yesterday I spent most of the day doing absolutely nothing to be honest. It was such a non-day which I hate. I, this is one of the reasons I go back and forth on whether I should drink at all because I hate completely wasting a day and doing nothing with it. But I did manage to start my audiobook. So I started the audiobook for A Court of Mist and Fury. Is that what the second one's called? Yeah, A Court of Mist and Fury by Sarah Jima. So that's the second book in the Akatar series. I listened to exactly 7%, which isn't very much, but this audiobook is 21 hours long. Wait, no, more than that. 23 hours long. It is 23 hours. That is a ridiculous length. That is ridiculous. And it says I have 21 hours left, so technically I must have listened to like at least an hour and a half of it, and I've only had 7%. That is absolutely painful. But anyway, I did that while I did some tidying yesterday because I always like to have a nice tidy room when I am like hungover or sick. So I always end up doing that just so I can chill in it. So I tidied up the room while listening to A Court of Mist and Fury and I'm really enjoying it so far. I mean, not much has happened. There's not much I can say without there being spoilers. So all I'll say is that it is definitely more raunchy than the first one already. Fada, she likes to, she likes to do a bit of tumbling in the sheets. I will say that. And we are now getting to see a little bit more of a resand because I am still to be proven how on earth he can become another love interest because all I've seen from him is evil. I'm hoping for this book, well I'm pretty sure for this book that's when it all changes and everyone starts to hate Tamlin. That's all. I don't think that's spoilers because I feel like I've heard that everywhere. Like I already knew that when I read these, started reading these books. So yeah, we'll continue with that at some point. But I also today started A Curse of Saints by Kate Dramas. This is on my June TBR, which is great. And I got to page 94 of this one, chapter 16. And we are following Aya, who is one of the Vesia. And these are people who are blessed with like godlike powers. They'll have one affinity that they can use. So Aya's affinity is Hersey, which is persuasion. So she can persuade people to act or do what she wants as long as they are somewhat willing to do so. They have to have a scrap of willingness for her to then like manipulate. And she is the queen's third in this. The queen has three sort of like close people who do her work for her. She is one of them, her best friend Tovo, Tovo, Tova, Tova. Her best friend Tova is the queen's first and her rival Will is the queen's second and he is the enforcer because he can manipulate people's emotions and also make them feel pain. So he tends to do a lot of the interrogations and they hate each other but it's very much giving enemies to lovers. Like I feel like she, he is already somewhat attracted to her. She is probably attracted to him but she's like oh my god I hate him so much. I hate him. She's not gonna by the end of this. It's really obvious. So far we've watched her be a complete badass. Start pandemonium in a bar in order to start a distraction so that she can go and deal with these tradesmen who were doing a bad deal with a possibly with a kingdom that has been ostracized because of its beliefs. So basically in this world there's this like dark time where people with affinities tried to did like dark work in order to get limitless power so that they could become gods too. And then this woman called Evie, same Evie. She managed to sacrifice herself and in doing so she like ripped open the veil between the mortal world and the beyond and the gods were called in to stop this from happening. They very nicely spared the humans but told them if this ever happens again you ain't getting spared. And they made it so that each Vicia could only have one affinity and could only have like a certain amount of that power. I think it's called their well. They can only draw so much from that well. So we're assuming this is gonna happen again at some point in this book. Someone or some people are gonna get too much power and the gods are maybe gonna need to be called upon if it gets to that point. That's what I'm guessing. But yeah, I'm really enjoying this world so far. I'm really enjoying the magic system. I'm enjoying getting to know it. I think it's taken me like a good 50, 100, 
your pages to properly understand like all the different terms and the different where the different places are but right now I'm really enjoying it and I'm really looking forward to seeing how that one continues. Plans for tonight are well they were to go for my hot girl walk and listen to my audiobook. It is a stunning day like it's so hot here in Glasgow but I'm really tired. I don't know if I can be bothered going on my walk. What I do need to do is have dinner because I've just finished work and I need to eat. Then I'm probably going to be in a better frame of mind to make any sort of decisions. I also need to edit my June CBR, which you should hopefully have seen before this vlog goes up. I also have like these Amazon boxes here, you might be able to see, full of like bookshelf things. <laughs> so at some point I do want to do a bit of bookshelf organisation. Got new fairy lights to put up and like little ornaments and stuff to put around. Um, which which I could do while listening to my audiobook but at the moment I'm not gonna lie to you I don't really know what I want to do with my night so I'm not really sure why I'm still talking. I think first plan of action needs to be to get some food and then after that we can make some decisions. Lol joke I completely forgot I have like other things to show you. So I have received some more book mail since we last spoke and I just need to show you the pretty things that I now have in my possession. So first of all we have the Ethereal Loot Edition of Legends and Lattes by Travis Baldry. I am obsessed with this. Like, look at the pretty hol holographic. I don't know. Look at the prettiness. I am so obsessed with this one. It is freaking stunning. I cannot wait to read it. I also have A Sorcery of Thorns and Enchantment of Ravens by Margaret Rogerson with the stunning gold edges. absolutely beautiful. I have also received an arc of Son of Blood and Ruin by Marielle Laris and can we just how stunning is this arc? Like, I want to tear into it ASAP. The bit on the back says, they tried to bury us, they didn't know we were seeds. I can't. That sounds so good. And I'm sure this is set in like a world where we have witches, but witches are like illegal and they will be put to death if they're found. Anything that begins with that premise, I am instantly intrigued, but there's so much more to the story than that. So yeah, obsessed, cannot wait to read this book. So yeah, with that and the Lunar Chronicles books that I showed you before, the ma manga editions that I bought in London, I have so much that needs to go on my shelves and I have absolutely no idea where it's all gonna go. So that again points to the fact that I really should do some bookshelf organization. Will I though? That's another question. Okay guys, please excuse this just now. I had something in my eye, so I've taken my contacts out and my eye makeup off, but I have yet to take off the rest of my makeup. But I am just sitting here editing my June TBR, like I said I would. I'm listening to Akamath while I do so, just while I'm doing like rough cuts and that, I can still listen. And I realized when I was moving the footage over, I also moved over like vlog footage, and I realized I am wearing the exact same outfit as what I was wearing at the beginning of this vlog. So Friday night, and tonight yeah I'm wearing the same outfit I just thought that I should probably acknowledge that because I didn't realize <laughs> until I started putting the footage over and I saw I'm wearing the exact same thing but it's fine it's clean you know I am clean I promise but yeah I'm just listening to Akamath just now I think I've listened to a good bit more because I was listening while I made my dinner as well so where am I I am now at 18%. So I've listened to what, like 11% since we last spoke? Which is not too bad. I've got nine hours and 28 minutes left on two times speed. Oh my God, I just locked my phone and forgot I had my headphones on and then I heard the lock sound in my ears and shat myself. Anyway, I am starting to see what everyone talks about because Reese, he's still like dark and a bad guy, but he is allowing Feyre a lot more freedom than Tamlin does and he wants to like teach her about her powers and things like that so that I could see being a lot more attractive compared to Tamlin who is just basically in complete denial at the moment is just like a grumpy little beast who <sighs> I think he's doing everything that he does out of fear and because he genuinely does care for Feyre but he thinks he's acting in her best interest but really he's like completely stifling her and like basically locking her up which we are not here for like she's a badass girl like she needs to go out and do badass things especially because we're starting to learn more about her and her strength after certain things happened at the end of the first book and yeah I want to see that develop I'm looking for I'm starting to look forward to more of the times that she's spending time with Reese than she is with Tamlin and if you guys watch my Akatar vlog you will know I was like I love that I love Tamlin how can anyone hate Tamlin I'm starting to see why
happy oh it ate my hair hi friends happy wednesday i still have something in my eye despite not wearing my contacts and not wearing my any makeup yesterday and it's been driving me crazy for like the last three days now so i'm starting to suspect there's nothing in my eye and that i've instead like scratched my eye maybe when i was taking out my contacts at the weekend because it's just like constantly like itchy and like I keep blinking and that so let's just ignore that while I do this little update. I have done quite a bit more reading since we last spoke so I have been listening to A Court of Mist and Fury and I am now 64% of the way through so I'm on chapter 42 which is this far through. So I've got this bit left to read so I actually upped the speed while I was on my walk compared to now to 2.5 because two time speed is usually perfect for me but for this one like her pauses between sentences were doing my head in basically so I upped it to 2.5 speed and when I first started listening I thought no 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 this is too fast but then I realised if I gave it a little bit of time I got used to it so we're now on 2.5 speed and I apparently have three hours and 17 minutes left so the hope is to finish this one tonight I am loving this one so much like I now see what everyone was talking about I am obsessed with Reese. obsessed Tablin? He can go in the bin for all I care. I have been absolutely squealing at this book. Like, no joke. I've been listening to my audiobook and squealing. Stopping whatever I'm doing to squeal because of the hilarious flirting between Feyre and Reese. It is everything. They communicate sometimes through these like magical notes that they send to each other. And if you've read this book, the bit where they're like talking about licking each other's wounds. That's all I'm gonna say. The slow burn is freaking killing me because it's getting more and more flirtatious the more we go through and I'm just falling more and more in love with Reese and seeing what is beneath that like horrible exterior we saw in the first book and his like dark seductive nature and his flirty banter is just honestly it has me weak at the knees like Feyre is a lucky gal well not yet but hopefully soon because it's killing me. Also can we talk about the fact that there was a one bed trope in this? We love it. Also, I can't believe how much this world and like the politics of it have just been completely blown wide open in this book. Like this could be a completely different series, to be honest. Like the first book was honestly like a little starter for 10. Like it all, now that I'm reading this one, it feels more like the novella that comes before the series, like the 0 0.5. Because it sort of gave you a taster for this world and what was happening. And now like it's just been blown wide open. We have met so many new people. We have learned so many new things. There is so much potential for so much to happen. It's a little overwhelming to be honest, but it's so much fun. Also, I am amongst the group of probably all Akatar readers who want to go to Valaris. It sounds like the most amazing place. And if that could just be a real country, town, place that I could visit, that would be fabulous. Preferably with Reese there as well to like wait on me. I've also made some more progress with The Curse of Saints by Kate Dramis. So I'm now on page 190. I've read this side, I've got this side still to go. I don't know why I always do that. I feel like I like to see how far through a book I am, so I assume you guys will as well. Please let me know if it's annoying. But I'm also really, really enjoying this one. It's so fast paced and it's so interesting. The magic system is really interesting. Again, the main character is still a badass and she is like unlocking all this new power at the moment. And she's almost like scared of herself, which is like a really, I always find that a really interesting thing to read about, especially if other people around her are also like suspicious of what's going on with her and she can't really explain it. I love how in this one the people with powers, the Vizia, have bonded. I can't remember if I've mentioned this before or not. They have a bonded which is a wolf that is like their almost like a familiar I guess that they have this bond with and it's so cute. I love anything where people have like an animal companion. I feel like this one has the potential to get super dark and super violent because it's already like there's been like torture scenes, there's been dungeons. It also also has the potential to get like fairly smutty I feel not like super smutty but like I don't know I feel like it has the potential to get darker and like a lot more adult as we go on but we shall see. Definitely really enjoying it and hoping to make some more progress with this throughout the week hopefully finish it.
over the next few days. But my goal for tonight is, like I said, to finish Akama. I always want to say Akatar, Akama. I have, like I said, about three hours left to listen to for this one. So I think my plan is to literally just cozy up in bed. Possibly play the Switch, I'm not entirely sure, but really just listen to my audiobook. I'm really interested to see how this one is wrapped up. I feel like it's probably going to end on a massive cliffhanger and I'm probably going to want to go on to the next one straight away. I'm really hoping that Feyre and Reese are finally going to kiss because, like I said, cannot handle the slow burn. I'm going to continue with this one now and I will probably come back to give you my final thoughts and wrap up the vlog tomorrow. Alrighty guys, it is the next day and I'm just hopping on here to finish off this vlog. I did as I wanted to finish A Court of Mist and Fury last night and I don't think anyone will be surprised to hear that I gave it 5 out of 5 stars. I am trash for this series, it seems. I cannot wait to continue with it. Honestly, like I just can't believe I ever said that Tamlin was the one and how could anyone ever love Reese? because when I tell you I am obsessed with Reese, like he is my new all-time favourite book boyfriend. I love him. The way that he treats Feyre, like just like not that this should be something that we do praise but he just lets her be her and just gives her complete like reign like he never makes her sort of like ask permission to do anything. Again not that we should have to praise that because that should just be normal but based on other things that have happened in these books. It's amazing. Honestly, the only thing that annoyed me about this book was some of Feyre's reactions and decisions. Like the sort of like third act breakup type part of this was just a little bit dumb, to be honest. <laughs> like the way she reacted to that whole thing, I was just a bit like, really? Like, why are you making this into such a big deal? Like, listen to what he's saying. But she then realised that she was being dumb literally like two days later, so it kind of made up for it. At least she realised how herself, like, you didn't have to, like, win her back or anything because, like, what had happened really wasn't that big of a deal. Or, like, it was a big deal, but not in the sense that she's just, like, hate him for it. And the ending. How am I supposed to not want to read the third book, like, immediately? I just, like... <sighs> I can't. I still, I still can't believe the ending. I still like, I can't. The last sort of maybe hour to half hour, like I've been, what I've been playing my Switch. I've been playing um, Food Truck Tycoon, which is one of my favourite things to play when I'm listening to an audiobook because it's kind of mindless, but it's also like I'm like fidgeting a lot. Like I have to like sort of like it's all click and fast, so I'm like. But then I'm listening to my audiobook. I don't know. It makes sense in my head. So I play that while I listen to my audiobook, and I was playing that while I was listening to this. And then I got to like the last hour, half hour, and I had to put the switch down and just listen because <gasps> it was tense. Like that ending was climactic. And then the actual proper ending, like the last couple of chapters, the last chapter. I'm still not okay. I'm not okay. Like <laughs> I need the third book immediately. I'm gonna have to start listening to the audiobook like tonight because. <sighs> You know when I get to this point where I can basically not even string sentences together? That's when you know that I absolutely adored a book because I just get all like excited and passionate and don't actually make any sense. So yeah, five out of five stars. I have not made any more progress with Curse of Saints since we last spoke. So basically overall throughout this vlog, just to wrap it up, I have read and finished A Court of Mist and Fury and gave this five out of five stars as I just said and I of course started The Curse of Saints by Kate Dramis and I am currently on page 190 of this so I'm very close to halfway so I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that amount of reading. It has been a very busy week or so. Yeah it's been a week hasn't it? I think it's been exactly a week since I started this vlog. Or thereabouts and I'm pretty happy with that amount of reading to be honest because like I said I've been a very busy bee and when I have not been busy I've been tired so I'm happy but anyway I hope that you enjoyed this vlog please do let me know what you've been reading over the last week in the comments I would love to know if you made it to the end of this vlog pop a bird emoji because there is a bird on this book just let me know that you made it to the end of the video and that you enjoyed your time here. But as always, if you did enjoy the video, please do give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe for more bookish content from me. Comment down below with any of your thoughts and feelings. I do reply to every single comment. I love you all and I will see you in my next one.